Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on problem solving. Draw something. We often hear the expression a picture paints a thousand words. Many problems can be solved by drawing some type of picture to help us visualize what is going on. Such a picture can be very helpful for visual learners. Example 1. Farmer Ted built a rectangular enclosure to protect his chickens. It was 20 metres long and 15 metres wide. As well as having four corner posts, he also had posts on all the sides which were 5 metres apart. How many posts did he have altogether? Now here are the chooks, but they need protecting. So let's start. Now remembering it's rectangular, so let's assume there is one post here in the corner. Now this, let's make this the length. So the length will be that way and the width will be this way. So the next post is 5 metres away. So there's the next post. So, so far that's 5 metres, OK? That's 5. The next post is another 5 metres away. So that's another 5. The next post is another 5 metres away. So that's another 5. So what's the length so far? That's 15, but it's 20 metres long, so we have one more post. See there? So there's another 5. OK, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 posts there. Now the width. OK, so what's happened with the width? It is 15 metres wide. OK, here we go. There's a post there. That's 5 metres. Another post. 5 metres. This is just approximate, but it gives you an idea what's happening. It's just a sketch. And there's another 5. So, if we do the same thing along here, there's a post there. Of course, it has to line up with this one. Another one there. Another one here. And there's the other corner post. Now, for this side, a post to line up there. And a post to line up there. So, let's have a look. If we look carefully, we can see how many posts we've got. Here we go. One, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 posts. So how many posts did he have all together? 14. So you can see the length is 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, and the width is 5, 10, 15, and each of the posts are 5 metres apart. So there's an interesting way of drawing something to help you solve the problem. Example 2. Mum and Dad had five children. The eldest child is 30 years old. The difference in age between each child is four years. What is the total sum of their ages? Let's assume this child here is the eldest. So he's 30. Now the next one's four years younger, so she must be 26. Four years younger must be 22. Four years younger must be 18. And four years younger must be 14. Now there we are. So we've got 30, 26, 22, 18 and 14. So let's go slowly. 30 plus 26, so that part there gives us 56. So we'll write 56 down. Okay. Now let's look at these two here. 22 plus 18, so that part is 40. Okay, that's 40 there. And we've still got the 14 at the end. So let's add all those up and see what we get. 56 plus 40 is 96. 96 plus 14 is 110. 
So that is the sum total of the five ages. So what is the total sum of their ages? 110. Example 3. A piece of timber is 10 metres long. Harry needs to cut it into five equal pieces. If it takes him 45 seconds to make each cut, what is the total time he will spend cutting the timber? Now this is a bit tricky because we've got to understand that if he makes one cut, that gives you two equal pieces. If he makes two cuts, that's three equal pieces. Four cuts, sorry, three cuts give you four equal pieces. And four cuts give you five equal pieces. In other words, he has got to cut four times. So let's basically see if we can do that. So he's cutting, say, one, two, three, four times. So he's got one piece, two piece, three, four. So he's got five equal pieces, but he's only had to cut four times. So 45 seconds for each cut. So it's 45 times four. Okay, because he did four cuts. That's 180. Okay, that's 180 seconds. What's that in minutes? Three minutes. So how's that? So in the length of time, we have three minutes. The important thing to note, he has to make four cuts because that gives him five pieces. Example four. Eight competitors enter a knockout tennis competition. How many games need to be played to find a winner? Here are the eight competitors. That's, let's say that's the first round. All right, these two play each other, for example. There's one game. Two games. Three games. Four games. So in the first round, we have four games. Now, the winner from these two... All right, let's pretend here's the winner here. The winner from those two is here. See how I'm drawing something? The winner from those two is here. And the winner from those two is here. If those two play together, that's an extra game. Those two play together, that's an extra game. The winner from those two is here, and the winner from those two is here. And here's an extra game, which is the final. Let's see how many games were played. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer, seven games. Example five, for a building project, Tom needs to hammer five nails into a piece of wood the nails are in a straight line and 2.5 centimetres apart. How far is it between the first and last nails? Well, let's assume that's the piece of wood here. Now, it doesn't matter where he starts his nailing. Let's say he starts there. One nail there. So, remember, he's got five nails. So, let's put the five nails in, remembering that each of them are 2.5 centimetres apart. So there's the third nail, there's the fourth nail, and there's the fifth nail. So there are the five nails. 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5. So that's four times 2.5. And that gives us 10 centimeters. So isn't that interesting? We can draw all types of diagrams and pictures to help us solve problems.